Hello everyone, I'm Crydax and welcome to the November channel update number seven. Today we're going to do some Patreon shoutouts. I am going to share a bit of uh, tough personal news going on in my own life, which is relevant, and we'll talk about how full time's going, continuing that conversation, and we'll chat a little bit about the Factorio numbers and also kind of what's next as we get into the holiday season with both Thanksgiving and Christmas right around the corner, which is crazy. So today we're going to start out with some Patreon shoutouts. A huge shout out to Kurt L. Thank you so much for becoming a patron and happy birthday to Blind Angus. I hope it's a great one uh, and you enjoy your birthday with people that you love. And also just a huge thank you to all the patrons. Uh, you guys are a huge support and you really help keep the channel running. So I appreciate you oh so much for supporting the channel. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, Patreon is the best way to do it financially. And you can check out patreon.com slash if you're interested. Otherwise, thank you for just being here and being part of the channel. So I have some personal news to share today, and these things are always tricky. How much do you share on the internet, right? I'm not going to just sit here and spill all the beans about my life, but I think if I were to say nothing about something that's impacting me pretty, pretty heavily, then it would be a, a little bit irresponsible to the channel because it is, you know, my job and you guys are supporting me and following me. And, and so if I were to say nothing, I don't think that would be super helpful. But I also don't think I just owe it to you. You know, it's not this expectation. Uh, but I do want to share a little bit today. And part of that is because I'm passionate about healthy conversations about emotional and mental health. And I think sharing a little bit about what I'm going through can help provide some safety and space for others to feel and, and think about some similar things. And I just want to, I'm very passionate about emotional and mental health, and I want to be a part of that, that journey that we're all going on, you know, as a society of learning how to do that better. So the simplest version is that a very close person to me is probably not going to make it past six months from now. And that's really heavy. That's really hard. I would like to say, oh, I'm totally fine, but I'm not. And I think it would be unhelpful to you for me to say that because it would be a lie. And I think it's also unhelpful to society to try to make this world where we're all really strong, right? Like, no, strength is not what it's all about. It's OK to not be OK. And especially when you're going through something this deep, there's going to be a lot of grief and stuffing that down like it doesn't exist is about the worst response you can have. So I just want to invite all of you at home to remember it's OK to not be OK. And I wanted to share that, you know, for a season here, I'm probably not going to be 100 percent when it comes to mental and emotional health. And that's OK, too. Right. That's what the process looks like. It's a very natural part of losing someone is dealing with the grief and processing it healthily. And that involves being not OK for a time so that you can integrate that into your life and move forward as a stronger person. Um, ignoring it or acting like it doesn't exist or trying to just grit your teeth and be strong is usually not the response that's going to to help you become a healthier person on the other side. So all that to say, I want you to know as the viewer slash listener, like I'm OK in the sense that I have support. I'm not sharing this with you to get a bunch of sympathy or or to try to get emotional support from online people. That's not the space for it. I'm not looking for uh, emotional mental support from all of you guys as viewers, like obviously well wishes, you know, I appreciate that sort of thing, but, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not lacking that. Like I have healthy people. I'm going and actually seeing a counselor right now. Cause I actually think that's a really healthy decision for adults to make, whether they're going through something like this or not. And so I just want to encourage you guys at home to know I'm okay. Um, in those senses, I'm not okay in some other senses, but like we're, I'm going to get through it and you don't have to worry about me. I don't want you guys to feel like that's your job or I'm putting that on you. Um, I just wanted to kind of share a little bit of like, as this is kind of my work and I've recently been making this big push for full-time content creation, it's kind of looking like there's some lulls here and there and I've had to cancel some streams and I haven't been streaming as many hours. And I did want to share a little bit about why that is and why I'm not 100 percent these days. But at the same time, this is a job that I really enjoy right now, and I'm really wanting to continue pushing forward through it. So it's not like I'm just going to take a huge break and stop doing things altogether, because I actually don't think that would be helpful. So don't worry, my priorities are straight. I'm not sitting here like, oh, I got to put out more videos for the channel so I can't actually go spend time with the people I love. I'm not doing that. I, I'm making sure to prioritize these things in real life that, you know, are, are fleeting and only last for so long. But at the same time, I'm not I'm not stopping the channel. I'm not stopping videos. 
uh, but the the schedule may look different. So I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But as far as like how the full time content creation has been going, it's still great. I'm having a great time. Um, I haven't put as many hours in in the last few weeks, but it's really been fun. I'm still really enjoying it. It's something I love doing and I'm really excited by the fact that I still love doing it. Some of the newness has worn off. It's not, you know, everything is extra exciting when it's new and that wears off as it does with everything. But I'm I'm still very excited by the prospect of continuing to make videos and do streams and do some edited content like that's all still there. I'm still loving the podcast and doing that. So that's really exciting. So I, I'm just really happy that it's gone this well. Um, as I've kind of already talked about, my emotional status and, and mental status is in a bit of disarray these days because of those life circumstances. And that does get in the way a little bit of the content creation, because, again, I am prioritizing the real life stuff that is more important, to put it bluntly, it's like whatever your work is, it's not more important than the people you love and cherish. So. I just want to share that like I am prioritizing that. Don't worry. You don't have to remind me that real life is more important. Um, I already know that and that's how I'm living. And I believe that you guys should live that way, too, because work is something that will always be there for you, whatever it is that you do. And so I just again, I want to continue having these conversations online because I think our society needs more of it. So I'm just going to say that, like, whatever you are doing, Wherever you are in life, make sure work is not too high of a priority because that's something I know a lot of us can can deal with. Um, as far as the more practical senses, I've actually been really encouraged by the the progress of the channel in the last month and a half between the, how the satisfactory videos went when I did the blueprint videos and how Factorio Space Age started out and has continued going. It's actually been quite positive of a response in terms of the numbers and the you know ad revenue and stuff like that so i'm actually quite encouraged and i think if i can keep going with it and the channel can keep growing this is truly a viable thing you know when i started three months ago or whenever it was i was curious like could this be possible financially that it could work out for me or is this just kind of a pipe dream that's fun while i can do it but then at some point i'll have to go do something else and at least for now, it's growing at a rate that means it might work out. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's some exciting news, and I'm really happy about it. It's been really cool to see kind of some of the responses. Uh, as far as the Factorio numbers, there's over 50,000 views between all the, the streams and the, the videos that have been releasing. And that amounts to like over 20,000 watch hours, which is just crazy when I think about it. Um, Sometimes I think you get lost in the numbers as a content creator and you just kind of hope they keep going up. And these numbers are so big, they're kind of mind boggling. And I, I have to sit down and appreciate like this has been a really cool response to the channel. And I just I can't thank you guys enough. You've been such a big part of making that happen. I know that the community of Crydania is a big part of why a lot of people like the videos and the channel and the discord. And so I just want to thank you guys for being a part of it and just to keep doing it, keep being the kind, loving, friendly souls that you are. And, and uh, we're going to have a great time. Um, I did release one video that was non kind of gameplay for Factorio, which was the blueprint parameterization bot mall video. And that's gotten a lot of views and the response was really positive to that. So I'm I'm eager to make more of those types of videos. However, I don't want to just rush to make content for the sake of making content. I want to wait until I have an idea that I actually think I can present well and I can, you know, teach people something new that they, you know, either don't know yet or might not know. So I'm not just going to make a billion of these videos willy nilly. I'm going to wait until I have kind of the right video that I want to make and and. Part of the issue is that I've only played Space Age for 70 hours and I feel like I need to play it for 700 hours before I really know what I'm doing. And so, you know, as I play more and more, there will be more videos coming out because I'll start to feel more comfortable with kind of my mastery of the game, so to speak, because I certainly have not mastered the game yet. Nor, I, I mean, to some level you never do, but I, I have a lot more playing I need to do to, to figure out how, you know, train interrupts work. And I'd love to do a video on train interrupts at some point, but I haven't even really even played with it yet myself, despite being this far into the game. So I'm excited to see where that continues going. And, you know, as far as this particular playthrough, like we're going to keep trucking, we're going to beat the game. We're going to maybe play with getting some legendary stuff after that. And past that, I don't really know. We might dive into a mod pack. We might start a whole new playthrough with a new style of play 
for Space Age. I'm not really sure what we're going to do after that. We might play a different game for a little bit as a palate cleanser. We'll see. But Space Age is great. I'm really loving it, and I'm really excited to to kind of keep diving into it and to see what mods can do with it. So I just, again, I thank you guys for being a part of this journey. It's been an awesome, uh, it's been an awesome time playing Space Age and getting to be a part of kind of the the initial wave of excitement when a new game comes out. That's always really fun. And it's it's just been really cool to see all the different content creators coming together and, and doing their own different things. And so, yeah, just thank you guys for being a part of that. So what are the next steps? Um, well, between the holidays coming up with Thanksgiving and Christmas and the Christmas season, plus the personal news that I shared, uh, that means my schedule is kind of in disarray these days, total shambles. Um, so as far as my actual stream schedule, it's going to be quite variable. I will be sharing it in my Discord each week. And my goal is to under promise and over deliver rather than the opposite. I've had, you know, sometimes in the past where I've really wanted to set a big stream schedule and I haven't been able to keep up with it. And that feels really bad for me and for you. So my goal is to only commit to streams that I know for sure I can do. And I'm not going to cancel those, you know, unless like some sort of emergency is happening type of commitment. And that way you guys know when I say I'm doing a stream that that stream is going to happen. However, that means I'm going to commit to less streams in total. And there will be more streams that kind of happen because it's like, oh, well, I wasn't really sure if I would be able to stream on that Tuesday. So I said I wouldn't. But now I have a free day and I'm going to be able to, to put in some time to stream and hang out. So there will be more surprise streams than before and less uh, kind of planned streams. And that's just because, again, between the holidays and these real life circumstances, I just have some bigger priorities right now and I can't commit to an exact schedule because these other things are just such a such a big priority for me right now. And so that being said, please join the Crydania Discord. There's a link in the about section of this video, and that has the most up to date kind of situation on, you know, my stream schedule. I'll be updating that every Sunday or Monday or so is when I kind of lay out the plan for the week and you can you can follow those announcements to see my stream schedule. And that also sends like if you want to, it'll send pings of when I go live on Twitch or, or release YouTube videos or things like that. So again, thank you guys so much for your support. As a community, I cannot I cannot stress how great uh, you are. I've loved the Crydania community that's gathered around this channel. And I just, it's been such a big part of my love for the channel. Like I'm always gonna love playing these games and I'm always gonna love sharing them with you guys and, and educating you guys on things and talking about the math of it and all that sort of stuff. But really, the the community that's come around the channel has made it 10 times, 100 times better than it ever could have been otherwise. And so I'm just so thankful for you guys. And I'm really excited to see kind of where things go next. And regarding my personal news, I just want to stress one last time to you as the viewer, it's OK to not be OK. Um, I hope that you have people in your life that you can share these things with. If you don't, there are resources online. I'm not going to recommend any particular ones because I don't I don't have that list, but I just I know that it's really important for us to have people in our lives that we can go to with our not okayness uh, because we can't be strong for everybody all the time. That's a recipe for disaster and burnout. And so I just want to stress to you guys, like if you're not okay, that's okay. Uh, find the find the resources you need to, to continue moving into that process of uh, healing and grieving and figuring out what it is you need to do to move forward because there is health in the in in that process so again i thank you guys for for joining me on this this journey of the channel it's been really fun we're going to keep playing lots of factorio and other games so don't worry about that and uh yeah as always let me know what you think in the comments i'm excited for the next couple months with the holidays and i'll see you in the next video